through the hearts of New Yorkers were really big. But take a look at all the donations pouring in for the children here in New York City, but they still need volunteers like Ginger. From Via, and we're making it happen. That's right, we're making it happen. Hey, you stole my line. <laughs> Nice to meet you. you. Aya Keith, Council Member Mark Levine's Chief of Staff, says so many people didn't know how to help the 300-plus immigrant children here in New York City. Oh, my goodness. Levine made a call to the public to give things like clothes, diapers, and toys. Last Wednesday, they never expected this. Anything you can do to help, it's worth it. At first, they started collecting items for the children in his district office. That got too small, so now they've taken over Riverside Church in Morningside Heights. So you what just get need. bags and bags, bags of baby and bags, things. And box like, of uh, uh, items. I gotta get out of the way. Boxes of clothes, diapers, and toys all need to be sorted through. It takes a few good volunteers like Abby Wanterpool, who brought her three-month-old daughter Gemma with her. It's it's very horrible. Oh, it makes me very sad. Oh, I know, I know. And instead of crying, you're taking action, right? Yeah, that's right. That's what moms do. That's right. I, <laughs> I'm so happy to be with my daughter, and I couldn't couldn't imagine. And most of these volunteers who are sorting right now are moms on a mission. We caught Helen Blumenthal hard at work. That's you're sweating. Hard, but I sweat easily, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Why are you volunteering? Because it's better than just sitting home and being frustrated by everything. And now volunteers are needed to help sort and drive and deliver the goods to the centers where the children are. It could take over the entire church. It absolutely could, and if it did, that'd be fine with us. It's an opportunity for us to play a really small part in helping the separated children here in New York City. Wednesday, we'll be sitting down with the ACS commissioner one-on-one -on, -one on our live Monica Makes It Happen Facebook show at noon. The commissioner will talk about the need for foster parents, preferably those that are bilingual. And I'm so proud of our moms. They're making it happen. And if you want to also give, just go to our website at pix11.com. And if you have a story, reach out to us on Facebook at Monica Morales TV. That's Monica Morales TV. We could be in your neighborhood next. In Morningside Heights, Monica Morales, Pix11 News. Thank you, Monica. What a great show.